welcome to D18 Photo. My name is Dennis18. Today we're doing something a little bit different because we're actually paying homage to one of the true heroes of rock and roll, David Bowie, who just passed away two, uh, two days ago. And the reason why I'm talking about him here on this little video podcast about photography is that he actually lived around the corner from where I live here in Berlin. And I've always felt some kind of um, kinship with him. When I first moved here, they told me that he lived around the corner in this little neighborhood. And uh, I never really knew which house he lived in. So when I came home yesterday from work, after hearing that he died, I walked by the place where I always walked by and there were people uh, gathering there and they were putting down flowers and lighting candles. And uh, this was actually, um, yeah, I discovered where David Bowie lived, which I didn't know, which shame on me. I did, never looked it up. I just knew that he lived around here, but actually it's just a five minutes walk from here. And um, so I headed out yesterday and took a few pictures with my Polaroid 600 series. And um, yeah, the pictures didn't really turn out that, all that great. That, that thing uses flash and uh, the, the color film was muddy. And uh, also I wasn't really into it because my, I, I, you know, with the flash, you disturb the whole scene. I felt really like an intruder and I didn't really like to stay in the one place for a while and compose my shots. and. I wasn't really happy with, with what I did there. So I said, well, let's get out of the way. Let's have these, give these people a, a moment, some moments of um, contemplation to say goodbye to David and don't disturb the scene with, with my flash and my loud camera and everything. So I packed everything back in and went back home. And today I walked back out there again and uh, it was a totally different scene. People were singing karaoke, singing his old songs and basically just celebrating his art instead of mourning, which is very nice to see and uh, so I didn't really feel all that uh, like an intruder this, this time so I went back out again, went home, got my SX-70 and my tripod and got out there and took a few shots with it and um, this little thing is actually quite cool because it has a tripod mount and you can stabilize the whole thing and uh, at night and with candlelight you definitely need um, something to stabilize it because of long exposures you have to take in order to get enough light on the on the emulsion which is um 160 iso i believe the film i used is the impossible generation 2 black and white sx70 film and with 160 iso that's really not all that light sensitive so you definitely need long exposures and the um, sx70 took about well between six and ten seconds exposures which i think is quite nice because you have that click and then nothing happens and then you have to wait and then it spits out the film and you don't really, um, yeah, you don't disturb anyone with your flash and everything. So I was quite happy to take this one out and I also like the pictures it presented to me and I would like to share these with you and hope you like them. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel and um, find me on Facebook at D18Photo at my homepage www.d18-photo.com and um, yeah, let's enjoy these pictures and pay tribute to David Bowie.